Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install HP LaserJet P2015 printer driver in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First go to the YouTube description. In description, I give two links. First is the mega link. Second is the Google Drive link. Click on any link. I click on the mega link. I open the mega link. And mega link is open in the web browser. Here we find two folders 32 bit and 64 bit. We need only 64 bit. I click on here download, go to the downloads. And here we find download as a zip. Click on download as a zip. Wait for a few seconds. And here we find our download is started. Wait for a few seconds to complete our download. Our download is complete now. And here we find download is started at the top now. Click it here. It's take few seconds also. Our download is completed. Go to the downloads. Click on show in a folder. Minimize it and drag this setup file to desktop. Close it. Here we find our folder. This is an actual zip file. Right click on it. Click on extract all. Click on extract. Here we find one folder. I close it. And here we find one folder. Double click on it. Double click on it. Here we find two folders, two zip file, 32 bit and 64 bit. Go to the 64 bit. Windows 11 is always 64 bit. Right click on the 64 bit folder. Click on the extract files or extract all. I click on the extract all. Click on the extract. Wait for a few seconds. It takes few minutes. So wait for a few minutes. New folder is created or pop up. Close it. Here we find our HP LaserJet P2055 basic driver 64. Double click on it. And here we find our printer driver. And we are going to install these drivers manually because it is the simplest and the best way to install this printer on Windows 11 PC or laptop. Go to the start. Here type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In a printers and scanner at the top we find add a printer or scanner. Click on add a device. Wait for a few seconds and new option is pop up. Wait for a few seconds. Here is the new option. The printer that I want isn't listed. Click on add manually. Click on add manually. Close it. Here we find add a printer. In add a printer, we find many options. Go to the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Select that. Click on the next. Here we find existing port. It is a most IMP part in this installation. Click it here. And if you find dot phone underscore zero zero one HP printer, HP printer device. If you find any HP port, then select HP port. If you not find any HP port, then next option is USB. Select any USB port. USB 001, 002, USB 003, 004. Select any USB that you find. Select USB. Click on the next. Here click on the have digs. Click on the browse. Go to the desktop. Here find your extractor folder. Find your folder. Select your folder. This is an HP LaserJet P2015 USB. Double click on it. Double click on this folder. In this folder we find 64. Double click on 64. Here we find our printer driver. This is the our printer driver single file. Click on open. Click on OK. Here we find many printers. From this all printers find our printer name HP LaserJet P2015. Here we find HP LaserJet P2015 PCL6. This is the our printer. Select our printer. Click on the next. Here, here we find printer name. You can give any printer name. I give the HP LaserJet P2015. Click on the next. It's installing our printer. It's take few seconds. Wait for a few seconds. Our printer is now installed. If you want to share this printer on a network, then select last option. And if you not, then click on do not share this printer. Click on the next. If you want to print a test page, then click on a printer test page or click on a finish. Next option is or next process is check our printer properly working or not. Go to the start. Type printers and scanners. Click on a printers and scanners. In a printers and scanners, if you find your printer name HP LaserJet P2015 in a printer list, that means your printer is installed and properly working in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you guys.